Did you know that postural issues are caused by muscle memory? In this video, I'll explain how rounded posture, forward head posture, hyperlordosis, functional leg length discrepancy, and idiopathic scoliosis are all caused by tight muscles that pull the skeleton out of alignment. First, I'll explain muscle memory. When we repeat a certain posture over and over, our nervous system notices. Our nervous system likes to help us be as efficient as possible. So if we choose to come into a certain posture over and over, our nervous system will start to keep the muscles involved in that posture a little bit contracted all the time. As those muscles become chronically tight, they keep us stuck in that posture all the time. This might save us some time and effort, but when our skeleton is out of alignment all the time, bad things happen. Those tight muscles that are keeping us stuck in that posture can feel sore and painful. Our joints can be compressed, so cartilage can get worn away and nerves can be compressed. So muscle memory is a wonderful thing because it allows us to move through our daily life efficiently and perform complex movements quickly. But since we tend to live very repetitive lifestyles, we suffer from the side effect of muscle memory, which is building up chronic muscle tension. Now I'll explain which muscles tend to be tight in the most common postural issues. In rounded posture, which is called postural kyphosis, the abdominals and pectoral muscles are tight. These muscles pull your rib cage down and roll your shoulders inward. In forward head posture, which often goes along with postural kyphosis, the sternocleidomastoid or SCM and the scalenes are tight. These muscles pull your head and neck forward. In hyperlordosis, which is an exaggerated arch in the lower back, there are quite a few muscles involved. The extensors, the quadratus lumborum, latissimus dorsi, and the iliopsoas all contribute to the arching of the lower back and tilting of the pelvis forward. In functional leg length discrepancy, the quadratus lumborum, internal and external obliques, and iliopsoas all tend to be tight. They hike one hip up higher than the other, creating the illusion that one leg is longer than the other. Idiopathic scoliosis can be complex. It can involve one, two, or even three lateral curves in the spine, along with lordosis and or kyphosis and rotation of the spine. So there can be chronic tension in a lot of different muscles. The muscles that tend to play the biggest roles in causing idiopathic scoliosis are the internal and external obliques, the extensor muscles of the back, the latissimus dorsi, the quadratus lumborum, and the iliopsoas. If you've ever consulted with a health professional about how to improve your posture, they probably told you that you had to strengthen something. This is incorrect advice. Your muscles are chronically tight, pulling your spine out of alignment. So you don't need to strengthen anything. You need to release those tight muscles so that you can stand up straight naturally and easily without effort. It shouldn't take effort to stand up straight. If it does, then you have some tight muscles that are pulling you out of alignment. Stretching, massage, and manual adjustments only release muscles temporarily because they don't actually retrain the nervous system. Retraining your nervous system is an inside job. It can only be done by you, and it involves using a technique called pandiculation, which is actually hardwired into your nervous system. It's our nervous system's natural, built-in way of releasing chronic muscle tension. In a pandiculation, you gently contract your muscles and then very slowly release them in a specific way. This sends accurate biofeedback to your nervous system about the level of contraction in your muscles. If you pandiculate your muscles on a regular basis, you gradually reduce the baseline level of tension in your muscles. This relieves chronic pain and restores natural posture and movement. To make lasting changes in your posture, you need to follow up your pandiculation exercises with proprioceptive exercises. Proprioception is our internal sense of our body position. When our muscles become tight and we gradually slip out of alignment, our proprioception adapts so that we feel like our incorrect posture is actually straight. So when you start to release your tight muscles, your posture will feel off balance until your proprioception adapts to your new straighter posture. You can learn more about the process of retraining your posture and proprioception in this article. And you can learn about the method of neuromuscular education that I teach and read testimonials on my website, somaticmovementcenter.com, and in my book, The Pain Relief Secret. Thanks for watching.